Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to freeze the dragon, how to ride the dragon, how to get the dragon to the overworld, and showcase of how to dupe it. I'll be doing this all in survival without any cheats, mod, or data packs, just pure vanilla Minecraft. So let's get into it. Here are the items that you are going to want to bring. 9 stacks of leaves, a shear, 32 endstone, 5 ender crystals, 2 pistons, 2 levers, and a boat, and all your normal daily survival things. I would highly suggest bringing extra material just in case something goes wrong. Also get a no fog resource pack which is in the description where you can also find a light medica and a world download if needed. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to 00, zero which is on top of the end portal. Now stack up to Y level 200 using leaves. Once you're standing at the course 0, 200, 0, which I am in the top left, or use your F3 screen, then bridge out 19 blocks in any direction from the pillar. Place the end stone block at the end. Check your cores, they should have a 0 or a 20 in them. It does not matter the order or if they're negative or positive just as long as there's a 0 or a 20 of them. Do it again, bridge out 19 blocks in the same direction. Then place another end stone block. This time make sure your cores have a 0 and a 40 in them. Now go back to 0, 0. Repeat the process in the other 3 directions. Now that you have done that, go to 0, negative 29. Facing west, you then want to bridge out 28 blocks. Then place an instant block. It should be at the chords, negative 29, negative 29. Facing east, bridge out 27 blocks. Then place an the instant block that should be at the cores 28, negative 29. Once you have done this, go to the other side at 0, 28. Once again, facing west, bridge out 28 blocks. Place an instant block that should be at the chords negative 29, 28. Then facing east, bridge out 27 blocks. Hey guys, you want to see my speed bridge? Oh, 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 oh! Ah! Then place an endstone block that should be at the chords 28, 28. Once you have finished, I would highly recommend rechecking all your endstone blocks to make sure they're at these cords. Massive credit to Ignis778 for finding these cords. I could not have done this without him. Please go check out his channel in the description for a more in-depth explanation on how dragon freezing works. Next, go to 040. Build a platform here, which will be very useful later. Then go to zero, 00. Remove all the blocks at these cords all the way back down to the end portal. Now choose the end gateway that you want to send your dragon through. Build a platform above it. Next, respawn the Ender Dragon.
Now break all the end crystals except for the one nearest to the end gateway with your platform. This next part is probably the most difficult part as you need to wait for the dragon to start perching. Then as quickly as possible, break the end crystal and fly to your platform. One way you can try to achieve this is by bridging out a ways from the crystal. This way you have a better view of everything. Do not accidentally break the crystal when the dragon is not going to perch. If you do, then move the dragon to the end gateway using a flying machine. But let's suppose you do break the crystal at the right time, but then you start flying around and you get confused, you die, something happens, I don't know. Then the dragon freezes in the wrong spot. But no worries, just fly back to the obsidian pillar and place the end crystal back on the bedrock. This will unfreeze the dragon and now you can try again. This is what it looks like if everything is done correctly. I see the dragon going in for the perch, I shoot, and I immediately fly to the platform. Then stand above the bedrock. The dragon will then charge at me and freeze right underneath me, sending it through the end gateway. Next, fly to the top platform. Then break the endstone block that is at 040. A dragon will then eventually spawn. You can go ahead and kill it. The end portal is now open. Now go through the end gateway that you sent your original dragon through. If your dragon is frozen, then use a piston to push it back up into the end gateway. If your dragon is moving like this one, then follow it back to the main end island. Once you are back, the dragon will be at the bottom of the island and slowly make its way up. Now in order to freeze the dragon again, you have to wait for the dragon to perch. Then throw some leaves into the end portal and go into it. This will reload the end. Now go to spawn and find where the leaves landed. Build up on that block until it is above all your buildings. Then place the endstone block on top. If you want to cause chaos, then don't place the endstone block. Now go back to the end. The dragon should then be frozen above the end portal. If not, just move it there. Now build to the top center of the dragon.
Now you may be asking yourself, Jelly Meep, what in the world is this boat for? Dragons can't go on boats! And yes, that's exactly what you sound like. And I'll say yes, but you can ride on the dragon. Woo! Dragon boat, dragon boat, dragon boat, do what a dragon boat can. Then place a piston facing down. Now push down on the hitbox until the main body hitbox is two blocks above the end portal. Always be checking. Right now it's three blocks high. We want it to be two blocks high, so I'm going to be pushing it down one more block. And this is perfect. See how the main body hitbox is two blocks high? That's exactly what we want. Now position yourself to be at the back corner of the main body hitbox. So I'm going to be aligning myself with this hitbox right here, the very corner of it. So I'll be standing right here. Then be on the same level of the end portal and dig down 5 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then dig to that corner. Oh, there it is. Now, you see how the hitbox is like one tenth of the pixel off from the full block? If I can align myself so you can see it better. There, you see how it's not on the same level with the bedrock? That's exactly what we want. Oh, whoops, I got launched. Place a piston underneath it. Then push up on it until it is in contact with the main body hitbox. See how it is now aligned with the bedrock? And congratulations, you have now duplicated your dragon into the overworld and is now waiting for you. You can also use the dragon as a player booster. Whee! Now we need to get back into the overworld. We can do this by pushing the dragon over a bit. And there you go, your very own pet ender dragon into the overworld with any cheats, mods, or data packs. And now I will show you Dragon Duper that will dupe dragons super fast, but first, I am the true and only discoverer of getting the dragon into the overworld and duping it, so whenever you're doing this, please always credit me. But this dream could not have come true without Igna, who found out how to freeze the dragon. He's a new video on it, so please go check it out in the description. It's super cool. Also credit to Rayworks, who is finding ways to create cool tricks and tips for this. Also credit to EMG for teaching me how to edit. Also, if dragon duping works in your world, leave a like and subscribe, and if we get to 1k subs, then I will tell you my version of how to freeze the dragon in the overworld and how to train your dragon for destruction. And now for what you have all been waiting for, the dragon duper. 
Hi, sorry, this is Editor Jelly here from like two months after this was filmed. But that Dragon Troopers design is really annoying to build, it only does 500 dragons per hour, which is trash numbers. I can do way better than that. So if you subscribe, then I'll make a Dragon Trooper design that is way easier to build, it does 10,000 dragons per hour. Anyways, continue. I'm now going to turn this on and AFK for 5 minutes to see how many dragons I get. Five minutes later. Now let's go see how many dragons I got. Whoa, that's an insane amount of dragons. They just keep going up. That's crazy. Dang. Imagine like another normal player just walking by and seeing this. This is crazy. Also, go check out my Discord if you have any questions. Don't forget, I love you all. See ya!